All right, folks, Simon here. This is the 2022 TAC Championship match between Manatee and No Hat Coder. Now, Manatee qualified for this tournament in the members tournament of this year, members tournament of this year uh, in 2022, and No Hat Coder qualified by his tournament rating, which is different from the PlayTAC rating. And he was the, uh, the second spot for that. Now, this is a four-game match in the quarterfinals, and that means that they will be playing two games as white, two games as black, alternating each, and they will be playing on a 6 by 6 board with a 15-minute timer on the clock and a 15-second increment. That means 15 seconds will be added to their time after every turn, and they will be playing with two Komi. Two Komi means that two will be added to Black's flat count score if the game does not end in a road. So that is what we're looking at here today. It should be a pretty solid match. Um, based on the predictions we have in the fantasy brackets, I guess you would say, uh, most people have No Hat Coder as winning, but there are a few that say that uh, Manatee will win since uh, No Hat Coder has not been playing too much too recently. So uh, could be a little rusty, could be a little out of practice, but uh, we'll see. I think that we're going to get a pretty solid game uh, either way. Uh, but also joining me in the commentary booth, we have not only a commentator that uh, helped me out on the previous game with uh, Abyss and Pluto the Brave, but also... Uh, part of the tournament now because Sim had to drop out due to whatever reason and Alien 02 was the next qualifier based on tournament rating. So we have Alien 02 here. Hey guys. And so we will be covering this match and it looks like they have opened up the seek and we should be ready to go in whenever, I guess. <laughs> so let's jump right into game one of No Hat Coder versus Manatee. No hat coder in white, manatee in black. <laughs> anyway, I haven't seen manatee play much recently, or at all, really. Ooh, so, first move we see dropped from no hat coder up in A6. And then opposite corners is what manatee's going to go for. And not the knight's opening. This is interesting. This is going for that center control, but on the far side away from your starting piece. Already very interesting. One Oof, thing I also three. remember No Hat doing uh, from the attack open in 2021 is that he would often place his capstone first as white before black would. Uh, looks like that's not the case here, though. This is really odd play from No Hat Coder, I think. It's basically just forced black into playing the knight, which, um, I mean, should be good for black, right? Yeah, that capstone is also in a great spot to really mess up what white's doing. Uh, like white, uh, where white is... built around black, um, built around black's capstone, just giving black's capstone more opportunities to jump into things. Oh, I don't think. Yeah, I think d three is too early. Oh, but does not capstone on d three. Yeah, it just drops a flat. I think that the flat is fine there. I kind of feel like White is starting to run out of sensible capstone spots, but maybe, maybe not. I would definitely plug either B4 or C3 as black. I don't think B6 was necessary, but okay. C6 played from White, now B4 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, capstone at B4 would be really good for White. Um, or, or, yeah, for White, that would be a good spot. Capstone there. Hmm. I don't think it necessarily is. Well, yeah, the capstone because drops now... at B4. Now, that's connecting those two flats for white, but also it's close enough to what black's building in the vertical and horizontal lines that white's capstone can get in the mix of that. Black has momentum, though. Black does have momentum, but white can make a self-capture here. I like capturing up on B5 with the capstone, and then I can go in either direction. Spreading right really... Is, is a solid FCD move, but also really messes up what Black's doing and separates Black's capstone from everything else that's going on. Mm, but then Black would just come to C4 and try to win C5 back, yeah. freeing the captive. Maybe. 
And I think from then on, white would have momentum and be able to work with that and, uh, and force black to make those moves. Hmm. I don't think that would stop the edge crow up top quite yet. So, okay, so this is attack threat. Now, taking on c6 would be tag, would be the route. What is Snowhead going to do? So, yeah, I was thinking c6 left. Yeah. That cuts it off and keeps building for that uh, that vertical line that White was going for from the beginning. Yeah, and now, and now White has stolen back the momentum. But Black can quickly take that back. Hmm. I'd say Black ah, probably... dropping again at C6 or at A5 are, are really good spots. C6 is dropped. That way he can win that capture war on B6. <clears throat> hmm. But the winning the capture war there actually work correctly towards towards your goals is, is what I'm thinking. Um, it Cause... would it would result in a wall being dropped by by white most likely or that capstone coming up solo uh, to be able to win that stack. So you wouldn't be able to win uh, get a road in there, um, but you would be able to break up white's vertical threat at least for a little bit. Yeah, but the, the the FCD white gets from this is really scary, and your horizontal was dead. So I don't think I mean C yeah C six left B five plus A six right wall on C six. I think this is winning for white. Black also well, does is... still have the C three flat that they can use to to cut off, um, the vertical, a little bit over onto B three. White can mm -hmm. replace at C three and then go for that sort of uh, horizontal and vertical line. Uh, so that C3 flat is actually pretty solid where it is, but, uh, but yeah, there's some options there. And now yeah, we've got okay, that wall so coming is... at B1, and that's going to be blocking that vertical line, but I don't think it's going to do as much as Black wants it to do because of that, hey. uh, that C4 flat and the D3 flat. Uh, able to kind of push off to the side and build sort of like a citadel is what's looking like it's going to happen here. And, I uh, think and I could be dangerous. I think White had a had an interesting opportunity of putting um, a flat on a two, threatening the vertical road again, and then putting one on f three, threatening the horizontal. Mm. But I mean, a two wouldn't that be re um, responded to with a b one plus, which would cut off the horizontal. But then you, but then you can go for a three. And and the wall definitely does not want to come up to B3 because that would be suicide. Mm -hmm. And so this is where here I see a C4 minus coming down onto C3 here. That just there goes for the right? placement instead. This is this is fine, I think. Um, it's it's sort of easy to to, to blunder right now. My mm -hmm. my first the, the first move that came to mind was to D4 left, which of course loses to a road. <laughs> um yeah how do you stop this efficiently i guess what c3 minus so Probably yeah you could do you could do c3 okay. minus but he's gonna go for the capture up at the top to make that tag threat so of course white should recapture and then wall on black c6 or recapture oh yeah black recaptures uh, I, and then and then white wall on c6 yeah, I, either one of them will C6. I, I kind of feel like it would have been better for for black to wall there. But it's difficult to say. These players, this is this is a, a very much a um a switch from yesterday where where the players were very thinky in the opening. Here both are at their starting time on move 15. That is true. It's it's a it's a stark contrast between those two those two games. Indeed, and the wall does drop on c six. Now, so now I'm thinking four b six left. Uh, he maintains the stack, and he makes continues that threat. tie threat. Right, and he keeps the stack away from the wall and the capstone at least immediately. But the wall, yeah, the wall will definitely come over to b six. So. 
Well, if the wall comes over to B6, then you just do 4A6 minus. <laughs> oh, no, that's smart. That's a good play because he's he's saying, all right, go ahead, capture my stack. I'll win. Uh... So he's forcing the move, saying, you can't capture this because I will win instead. So now he's forcing uh, basically another wall at B5. No, or, certainly not. I'm mean, not, I not think, another wall, think... but C six minus could happen. That's what he kind of wants to happen, I think. But the another oh. wall at B five is a lot stronger. I that was a really strong play playing at A five there. That was a really smart move, and I really liked it. That was good. And neither of us saw that as as a as an option <laughs> at least at least when we talked about it. So I think that was really strong. I I think I think White could have responded by taking on e5 for instance, um, keeping his keeping his mm. threat of capturing the, the the b6 stack. Yeah, that definitely would have been good. Because the if e4 flat stone is not really doing much in the game, so so it can just go go do something, and and this would be yeah. So because now now that there are two walls next to that stack, it's kind of hard to cash it in. Um, so, so yeah, this is this is interesting. And uh, black is now pivoting to the vertical. Mm. What do you do as white? I think you simply capture on b six. Um, setting up the spread right in case d one happens. I mean, if c6 left happens, then black's just going to wall at c6, right? Right, that is an option. Because they, he, um, he doesn't want to get that cut off, and he doesn't want the positive flat count differential to happen, so a wall at c6 seems like the only obvious choice here. I'm not, hmm, I'm not entirely sure the spread right does, um, does anything permanently for white either. Oh, I'm yeah, surprised so, so by that. Really surprised. Black by is, that. yeah. Black is now baiting the spread right and probably intending to smash. Well, um, I wouldn't imagine the wall is gonna end up on d6. Yeah. Now, black I would was... just place at f6 and continue the threat. Right. That that is also an option. But another option is taking on d6. Mm -hmm, with the capstone, um, and that right. would be tempting. Do or you think, with... do you think uh, White would wall on d4 if uh, if he brings that capstone all the way up onto onto d6 here? Hmm. Interesting question. Um. Because this coming all the way up. Yeah, this is a very scary moment, I guess. But it is not attack threat, so white could also just try to make their own threat somehow. Mm -hmm. um, like, for example, d3 left would be attack threat in that position. Yeah. But black could um, go up here at, at f6 and renew the threat, and that's what they go for. I, uh, I was thinking yeah. that, or the capstone coming up to, to d6. There is also one more idea. You you could also capture d6 with a flat instead, oh, and yeah, that's um, true. and the wall cannot recapture it because because it would get smashed, which would be an even greater benefit for the capstone. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and in the Twitch chat, Mary Gills is even saying d5 plus to juice up that stack before capturing it with the capstone. That was yeah, that's exactly what you're going for. But instead but, goes yeah, for the I F6, think... places the immediate tag threat here, and I think that's a pretty smart move. So now what does the wall come down to E5 or or E4 plus? Maybe now, even uh, capture on D1. You could see something like a B4 minus. Or no, sorry, sorry C4 minus. Or um, maybe, oh. maybe a B3, a B3 right. Hmm. Oh, goes for the B3 right. And so the B3 right, what that's doing is it's not making a threat in the vertical direction or anything, but it's setting one up for later. 
but it's also cutting off Black's threat in that vertical direction, at least for now. But now Black is unable to throw that capstone D4 all the way up to D6, because if he does that, he leaves right. behind a road for White. So right. that is that move is offensive and defensive in the same way. Doesn't want that stack to be captured. Uh, Black comes over with the wall. Now he's free to capture up onto D6 if he wants to. If he wants to make that D5 plus first to juice up the stack more, he can. Um, but I don't think he... I don't know. The, the capture on C2 also has the idea of recapturing on C3. For sure. And with, he can capture up tack. there and then, and then tack through it again, yeah. Yeah, I, I was saying that Nohad might be the one to play play that move in order to threaten the wall on C2. It's an interesting idea. It is. Now, here, I think what Black might want to do here, since White is threatening the smash onto C2, Black might go for playing at, let's say, B4. And so if he plays at B4, then if the White Capstone smashes, Black can move the Capstone left onto C4, make the tag threat, and start going for that horizontal line again. I don't I don't think so letting letting white smash on C2 give gives white a lot of uh, leverage at the bottom. Absolutely. Which I I mean so the, if you move the cap if you move the black capstone to C4 then you're really far away from the wall on E6 which will be able to um, I think quite cleanly cut off the horizontal up top that Black has going. So I think I think letting White just smash this would be a mistake. Um, I'm thinking something along the lines of 3C to minus. No, instead of going for attack threat. Interesting. Goes for the attack threat, but also... Ah, I see the keeping, idea. Keeping White's capstone from getting that stack because when B White defends the tag threat, Black can bring the capstone left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's this that was a idea, really smart play. Manatee has made several plays this game that have surprised me in how good they were and that we haven't seen them. Um, I think that Manatee for a long time now has been sort of a sleeper, really good player that people have underestimated. And I think we're we're definitely catching evidence of that right now. Oh. Oh. And he's not Never capturing on C3. That's surprising. It, I don't know why F4. He just... Wait. But C... I, uh, I mean, C2 is just hanging now. I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure the correct place to take it. Is there an idea here somewhere I'm missing? Hmm. No, I mean, this is leaving me speechless. Yeah, now hmm. this might be a ploy from Manatee to do what I do. Whereas you play a move that <laughs> makes your opponent think it's very clever when in reality it's not. <laughs> or this move is so clever neither of us can see it. Um, I don't know which one it is. But that's interesting. Well, I mean, so no, no hat coder is also confused. And, and he doesn't go for the smash. Yeah, uh, that surprises me. Are, are we, like, out of the loop here? Are the players seeing stuff we are not? Now, or... I, I understand the F2 placement now, because Black wants to play E2 because that's attack threat. A really weird one, but it is attack threat. Uh, but again, C2 is... All the way to F3. I mean, again, C2 is hanging, though. C2 is hanging. But if Black gets that E2 before... White can smash C2. I mean, if I'm white, I want to smash C2 here. Or, honestly, I if I'm white, I can play at, uh, at, at B4, right? And Or or at A4. But okay. no, he goes, he for, goes the for the smash. Now, there are many threats here. Like, white is threatening to spread right. White is threatening to spread up. 
Now, what do you do as Black here? Because now Black is in a lot of trouble, whereas Black before was sort of commanding and controlling the board. Now White is is in command just because of this one move. I think I think Black wants to take on C three here. Although, yeah, this, this leaves this leaves D two vulnerable though. I think I think that's fine. I think that was the ideal move here because if he didn't do that, then I think we would have seen, um, two C three plus one one, um, and that would have been a tough one. Uh, it would have been. Uh... It would have been attack threat in two directions. It would have been working for the the horizontal. It would have, it would have been really really rough to do if if that had happened. So black coming it, over with that capstone stopping that from happening. I think that's that's the good play. But white white also could have um, sorry black could have also um, walled on c four as an alternative. Yeah, um, keeping have. the strong keeping the strong capstone positioning. Protecting D two because now yeah exactly white has spread over D two and it would be really nice if if black could capture it but mm. cannot right now. Black could spread now, right uh, end up on on E E three here uh, could go for something risky and probably ill advised and throw the capstone up uh, make a hard capstone on <laughs> on C five yeah, yeah. I, well I actually did can't see make it. a hard cap oh yeah can make a hard capstone on C no can't can't make a hard capstone on C five uh, that would lead to yeah. a horizontal road for white um, he can he can <laughs> he can spread three C three plus two one oh no. Does that work? Yeah, I guess that does work. It does work. It looks like it shouldn't. Yeah, it looks, it looks awful. Uh, either way, don't do that. Thanks for not doing yeah. that. That was that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now, so now, okay. So now, what's happening here? Let's take inventory. Maybe. You know, I like that flats. move. I do. I like that move. So black is. Uh, up one flat after his move right now. We also see uh, Mayor Gills and Pluto the Brave both saying in the Twitch chat that White's capstone is in a bad spot and is going nowhere right now. Uh, correct, it's not doing a lot for White's position. Black's capstone is well placed. Um, that capture up there is attack threat now for, for White. Uh, that's, a, that's a strong move, one I didn't even see. I don't know why I, I didn't see it. I mean, I think uh, I think just spread right and don't ask questions here. I'd I'd say so as well. Um, I think that's the that's the play here is with the capstones. Take it, spread it right. Do how many flats? One, two, three, four. Has this five? One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay, so yeah, six C three right one five. Uh, that cuts off the threat, and and it's a plus two flat kind differential move. Um, it's good in in both of those regards. <laughs> but then his capstone is stuck on top of a lot of white flats. Oh, it's oh goes for the wall, wall instead. You know, I I, I don't have a hate this. with that. I don't hate that. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate this either. Um, it it's kind of it does put you in an awkward spot with uh, with flat count because now now it's even. But you still have the spread right available. Mm -hmm. And you also um, do have the capture two. up onto D5 available, which mm -hmm. can give you positive flag on differential moves as well. I have a weird feeling No Hat might go for something weird like 2D5 right. No, that can't be right. I mean, that would be a threat. It would be a threat, but then just D4, D4 right and... I think black is waiting for white to play a flat at C2 at some point so he can make a plus three move. <laughs> well, I mean... And if white ever wants to go for a horizontal, he's got to place that that flat, right? And well, so He doesn't I... necessarily have to. I mean, he can start with B1, A1, get E1 in. That's true. But it looks but no like is... White is focusing on the vertical, which I find interesting. 
I mean, he's got that Citadel with the capstone part of it. Uh, and he can do a lot with that in both directions, but focusing a lot on that vertical. And I think because of the capstone move um, and its potential to interrupt things. I really like Black's position now. I would definitely take Black here. Um, I think I would also... Ooh. Okay, so we are seeing a a move of d5, which I predicted, although in the other direction. Yeah, I don't know why... Is he, is he baiting the capstone to capture it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I it is possible. I think that's what he's doing. I don't think that's... Yeah, I don't think capturing is actually good here. He would have to leave behind a capstone. lot of white flats uh, somewhere to make use of that stack. And if yeah, he leaves and, behind and... a lot of white flats, then white's going to spread those down to go for the horizontal line. And then black would have it, to then throw that stack back down. And it's also an interesting. Um, it, it's also interesting to note that. Um, wait, what's I, what, what, what did I want to say about this position? <laughs> there was something interesting to note here, but I forgot. Okay, so anyway, um, black doesn't doesn't take the bait. Black plays at c two. Maybe taking the bait on the next turn, though. So I think what he's doing is he's setting up at C2. And then if he does go for the capture onto C5, white spreads down with the remaining flats on C4. And then black can spread down all the way to C2 and then capture that stack and then still have a black flat under his capstone after that exchange. And then be able to spread that right, make positive flat on differential moves, and really hem in that white capstone on F2 and make it kind of stuck there. I think all of those are solid moves. Uh, but he doesn't look to be doing that right now. Yeah, I, I don't know. I couldn't really follow your, your <laughs> line there. Um, yeah, so, so Black is now in, I guess... Uh, damage control of, of the horizontal at the bottom, expecting B1. I still, I, I, I still like here capturing on C5. Yeah, well, I mean, um, it would definitely confuse Manati. Uh, sorry, Nohat. And it is interesting to see both of these players are at basically the same time. Um, also, wait... Um, What's the what's the specific move you wanted to to do to capture on C five? So I was thinking um, you you can basically drop all the flats on on C four, and then uh -huh. so leave leave the black flat on C three. Leave all four whites on C four. So I I have to count six. So so take six. No, take a five C three plus. Uh, four one, and then after the words, you take that C five stack. After the white stack on C four spreads down, you just take that white, uh, take that stack on C five and spread it all the way down to C two, and you you've stopped that threat. It's an interesting idea, and I think you ultimately win based on um, on on the the flat count differential there. I mean, it makes the game into chaos, at least. So that's, that's definitely what I something here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I, I do know that much. White really fortifying this position wants to go for this horizontal line. We're we're having some checkerboard patterns in the bottom left. It's usually not great for the attacker. Yeah. So so white is sorry, black is just slowly filling in flats. I mean, I think he's just going for a flat game at this point. Or he could be wanting to cushion up that stack on C five to make it bigger for him and more worthwhile to take. I honestly think you're like the only player who's thinking about th this, this I want crazy. It. I want a bad stuff. Actually, ooh, ooh, look at this, look at this. Okay, 
<laughs> he probably won't get a chance to do this because white will do stuff down at the bottom. But if he does c4 plus, then he's got that, that there. He could capture up onto c5 and get a hard capstone. <laughs> and have a yeah. juicy hard capstone stack. But if that wall on b5 comes right, he smashes that anyway and still gets that good spread down. Even better spread down because he has more flats with it. And he has a horizontal threat, which is a bigger issue. Yes. I don't know. I I, I like it. <laughs> I think I think well, yeah, the reason right. I like it is because, to me, like I've said this a billion times, and I'll say it again. I like to play, probably not the optimal move in in a game here in the mid game end game. I like to play the more fun move. <laughs> and so to me, more fun is going to be a move that really throws chaos into the mix and gets me moving stacks around and I can come up with something clever because um, I typically only look a couple moves ahead. Uh, and so if I if I can look two moves ahead after the words after that, it, it's basically all improvised and I have to figure something out. <laughs> so hopefully I don't lose uh, before those two moves are up. Okay, so white playing at A3 now. Really avoiding captures on the bottom here, which I think is interesting. He's really setting up for uh, for building that side up first. <laughs> I'm expecting some kind of A4 from, from Black. A4 would set up the more normal looking spread up, up to C5 with tack. And this would still allow... Um, black to cash in at least one of the flats from that stack. Although maybe that, yeah, maybe not, because the, the the positioning of the castle on c5 is much less active. So you want to get it away from there, not not higher up top. So, but yeah, okay, Manatee is is going for this um, horizontal looking road. Yeah, if he places at a4, it's attack threat. I mean, mm -hmm. it's easily stopped in a bunch of different ways, but it is a threat. Yeah, I yeah I might I much prefer um, playing in a controlled way in in positions of uh, power. Yeah, where I'm... here's the deal though. The second a three comes down, uh, black is no lang no longer able to make any sort of good capture onto c five because he would lose. Um, so now well, we've this got... is a this is attack threat. Yeah, yeah, now we've got attack threat from from white black. I'm looking at maybe a d one left. Yeah, some something like that seems sensible. I would go for it. D1 yeah, you're left not really B one right. Either of those would yeah. be fine. They're basically the same. I um well hmm, let's see. Is there a difference? No, I, I cannot tell the difference. Oh, is no, surely not. Uh, I, I for a split sec for a split second I looked at three uh, f two left one 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 for white, but that cannot possibly right be right. Yeah, I don't know about that. But it is kind of set up for if if black plays d1 left. Like, if black plays d1 left, white may fill, and fill in and at d1. And then try to throw the free f2 left 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's, uh, it's a bit out there. But, I mean, is there any other way to generate chaos for white here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. So yeah, I would prefer B1 right, which does happen. Now are we going to get white just filling with B1? <laughs> or a wall there. A wall there would work, but if he drops a wall, black plays at A4, right? Right. 
But then you can just respond with two e six minus, and and that's yeah, that's, that's true. dealt with. Well, no, wait. A four is hang on. A four is a double, double threat. threat. <laughs> so you would because it would be a vertical threat and a horizontal threat at the same time. Wait, isn't A four like Tinue? It is not Tinue. Um because b5 minus b5 minus and then also 3c5 minus would also do the same thing if i'm not mistaken 3c5 minus no 3c5 minus uh oh yeah you're right that, that doesn't the... stop it. yeah just b5 minus that's the only move i think right yeah <laughs> but, but but that's that's good so white doesn't want to give black the opportunity to place an a4 but then, but then, even after b five minus, okay, so preemptively cutting that, I think that's a good call. Black could still play a four. Black can still play a four, yeah. Black should still play a four. I think so. I think I think a four looks good here. I think a four looks good, and. I even think capturing up onto C5 doesn't look too bad. Um, the the throw up, because then you can also capture, you can smash on, on E5 if you wanted to, and you've got walls protecting a lot of spreads of the, the flats you leave behind. Um, and you can interrupt and make positive flat count differential moves and, and keep those back from white. I, I don't think that's bad at all. You really are a chaos maniac. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I am. I like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's in a really precarious position for both players since both players are so close to a road right now. Um, yeah. So this by the can way, unfold in a lot of different ways. By the way, here's a fun way black can lose. White <laughs> right about now. I, I like that term. Fun way that black can lose. Okay. Uh, the cap the capstone C three is pinned from spreading right by C five. Yeah, it is. That's a which good is point. just I mean geometrically beautiful. So yeah, uh, this is another attack thread now with B six. I'm yeah, expecting B6 just B six minus. B six minus looks like a, sorry A six minus looks like a mm -hmm. good, good answer to that. That's what I'm assuming will happen here. But then I mean B6 right is possible. Yeah, and that renews that uh, that vertical threat. I'm not sure if it's necessary though. Which, I mean, I, I sound like a broken record. I constantly <laughs> say this. Um, it is important to note that this um, black capstone, it cannot go up and leave behind any white flats anywhere along that path because it will lose. Um, mm -hmm. So black has, has lost that. Right. I mean, white has so many liabilities here and, um, and yeah, I mean, let's, let's see what's the flat count here. So uh, 14, 14 for black. Oh, 14 for white as well. Yeah, 14 for black, 14 for white. However, white does have the move now, can take it up to 15. Um, black currently has no positive flag on differential moves available to them because of that pin that you were talking about. Spreading right to make that plus two move leads to a road for, for white throwing that C5 stack down. There is an interesting way to unpin yourself, though. You can go... 5c3 minus, and then threaten to spread the right or left. So I'm liking, I'm liking here for black, uh, d4 plus. d4 plus is an investment of two flats, effectively, because it's a minus one move. Yes, but you can capture um, a big stack on either way and make tack threats both times and recover more stack, uh, more more captive flats, and keep spreading and make more flat on differential moves. I think that it's overall uh, one of the better moves, if not the best move that you could make here. It sets it up, uh... and it does take time. 
However, look at black's reserves versus white's rever- reserves. Black is going to oh, be yeah, controlling definitely. when this game ends. Black has three reserves left. And so black. being able to force those those first moves with the, uh, the wall captures, that's the way to do it. Black also has to be slightly careful about um, stuff like free five right, which would be attack threat, or yes. um, or or board fill threats, I suppose. Um, black will not be able to place the next flat anymore, because that would leave white to to flat and win. Mm-hmm. So this is very interesting. This is going to be a tough end game. It's good that those players have left themselves some time to play it out. Now, Manatee, I know that he's not super confident in his ability to win against No Hat Coder, so he may be totally okay with hitting a draw as black. So if a draw is offered by board fill, Manatee might take it. Sure. That that seems somewhat likely. I mean, he's the underdog, but I do think the um, I do think this position is clearly winning for Black. Um, it's just a question of how. Hmm. Pluto the Brave saying also that D four plus can unpin the cap, leading to better uh, FCD as well. Mm, sure. I really like still 5c3 minus. I don't know what white can do about it. This just sets up a plus plus 3 move at the cost of 1 0 move. So this gains 1 flat and um, and also clears up some. Eh, does it clear up space on the board? Doesn't really clear up much though. Hmm. Board fill is almost inevitable at this point. It's very hard to get rid of it. Manatee at four and a half minutes on the clock. No head coder at four minutes. You may be right that, that D4 plus is the only way to, to go at this point. Okay. Oh, that's a good move. Well... But then white just drops a wall on a6. Can can they not? White drops a flat on, uh, our wall on a6 and then captures, captures a5 for, for FCD. Yeah. And then and then spreads <laughs> down and and gains one flat even. Yeah, I think that 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 yeah, that's not a good move. Never mind. I said that's a good move, but it's not. Uh, I think I think I, yeah, I do think that D four plus was the way to go. This ultimately works out for white, unless white blunders and moves B five left, <laughs> which no, we're don't. not going to see that from No Hat Coder from either of these players. Sure, yeah. This is the tag championship. These are these are the the top players. They're not going to make uh, blunders that that big. Um, yeah, we do see that wall at A6. There's at this point, technic- oh, at this point, he's got to do D4+, plus, otherwise he's going to fall way behind. I mean, technically he can now play D3. Can he? Yeah, this would offer white the draw. <laughs> and then... I mean, what, white captures, black flats, white captures, and then white is up one, and then black cannot place his final flat because that would lead to a loss by one. Okay. So, so black needs to find something here. I don't think that No Hat would take the draw here if Manatee offered it with the board fill. I mean, I do think this is very much still losing for white, so so I would definitely take the draw if if Man- if Manatee offered it to me. Yeah, but I just no play the board. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Um, I'm looking back here. Somebody said that a four plus would have been better than the a six minus, and yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. 
Okay, so so oh, black plays black D3, offered, offering the draw. Offers the draw. Yeah, so it would be 16-16, and it would be a draw. Will I mean, White take it? D4 plus... D4 plus is still winning in, in all of these positions. Black has two because, reserves left. Because D4 plus is a minus one move, and then plus two, plus two, plus two. So this is... Although, wait, it's not so easy because the board fill is coming. Mm -hmm. So you cannot so you cannot leave flat behind. Correct. That's very interesting. So I don't even know if this is a win for black anymore. Black might have might have missed the D4 plus for too long. Yeah, I mean, it's not a super obvious move. It definitely isn't. No hat coder is probably thinking about taking the draw, calculating if, if black has any way to... Um... Oh, he's not taking the draw, he's making a threat. Not taking the draw and... The... Wait. Huh? Wait. So he can't. So black can't place a flat on e5, or he loses. Yeah, cannot. So we might we might need to see d4 right here, which screws up the d4 plus move. Or d4 plus? No, no, we can't. Okay. So f4 left could also work and retain the f4, d4 plus. Yeah, f4 left makes sense. I think. Yeah, I would I would say F4 left works here. F4 left makes sense. I mean, capturing on C5 even makes sense. No, it doesn't. I this is you a straight. Keep, you keep I, forgetting I, that I, placing a flat yeah. on E5 is a road. Because I see the throw. The throw is very appealing, right? You know, maybe uh, maybe you won't do too well against Rabbit Boy today. <laughs> you keep forgetting placing in a flat straight line works. All right. I mean, you forget these things. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. He does do D four right though. Um, so this brings that this does this does break the the move that he needs. However, but the, there black, there still are. Mm, I like this. Okay, so. Bear with me here. Uh, if black gets to play on d4 next, white might make a, a placement or something like that to, to kind of go for for more board filly things. Uh, b6 right happens, and that's attack threat. Um, I, I like that. Uh, white's making the a6 minus move now to make that positive flat hand differential move. That would be a plus three move. Um... If, when he gets to make that. However, I, I like d4. d4 is very committal, though. Yeah. d4 means you cannot place a flat until the end of the game. This is your final flat. And I yes. don't know if d4 is the spot you wanted. I mean, it looks like the spot you wanted. I do get this, but... Yeah. It's it's just scary to do this. <laughs> this, I, is, this is looking now like it's going to be White's game. I would probably throw to e, e6 now. Oh. We are seeing the capture on c5. b5 cannot recapture because it is pinned. C c6 has to come down or that wall has to throw all the way no the wall can't throw all the way uh so c6 has to come down or we'll see something happen at at uh at c2 or c1 uh, ostensibly the wall can throw there no it would lose to a. oh no you're right yeah it wouldn't lose to a road right away 
But I don't think it should. I mean, it's a minus one move. So I think that just loses on the spot. Okay, we see this. And now what do we do? Do you... I mean, you can do, take it with the capstone. Do you... But if wall he brings on the D5? capstone all the way up, he has to leave behind white flats, doesn't he? Yeah, you, you, you cannot capture this on, on C5 usefully with the capstone right now. Because you cannot leave any white flats on, on the C4. Correct. And or, or, or on once C3. you do, you have to pick up everything. Because you've got... You'll have five white flats underneath yeah. your black capstone. Yeah, that, that that's what I'm saying. Oh, C6, no! That's not this... good. Yeah, this is, this is now white's game, I think. Wait, what's the count? 4, 8, 12 for white and uh 14 for black wait but white has a plus three move right now four eight doesn't take wait, it only wait takes a plus two move wait can black flat out to win so uh 13 for black 14 for white no he can flat out to draw and at this point, if I'm black, I'm taking that draw. I mean, you can still... You can still push. You can still pu push with with stuff like B6 or... Yeah, B6, right. Two. You can do it, but as soon as D6 comes left, then you drop your flat and, and take the draw. But you can throw the capstone there. Also, no, take can't. a look because... at the time. Manatee's got 20 seconds. No hat's just under a minute. I, I, I also think you can go 2e4 plus 1-1 one, one still. Now that wall eyes two huge stocks. Okay. So, I mean, these are still I safe moves. that does moves. anything, does it? Wait. Wait, no. That... Wait, that's not a safe move. Because white can now go... 4a5 minus 2, 2. And now you cannot take the draw anymore. Yeah. So now you have to do something to, to, get the, to get anything out of this game. And what is it that you're doing is the question. Yeah, I think, I think Black has lost this now. Uh, White's okay, cast, so I'm just going to capture onto that, make that threat. Yeah, capturing that now is a threat for white. I mean, this is still not over. Yeah, Do not get I would, this I wrong would consider because... this to be white's game to lose at this point. If black but somehow white manages still... to, to draw. Yeah, but white still has six flats left to place. That's a lot of flats to play. What? White won by flats. Black placed and white wins by flats. I think that was Black's. I think that was Manatee's way of. of uh, I think it was Manatee's way of uh, of resigning potentially. <laughs> oh my goodness! What a what a soul crushing game one. Yep. I mean, he had. He may have miscounted, uh, but he he did have the opportunity to draw a couple moves back. Um, turned it down, ended up losing on flats. Uh, that game shifted dramatically. Um, for a, a while there, it was it was it looked like Black had it in the bag. Um, and I mean, before Black had it in the bag, it was it was up and down, up and down, up and down, based on who was going to win there. Uh, but then Black had it in the bag, and then made a couple moves that just uh, just put White way in the lead. I, I think there, in the last few moves, it was White's game to lose. If, if after Black turned down that draw, it was, it was basically White winning. But, uh, but yeah, I was... Man, that's, that's rough. But anyway, congratulations to Noah Coder for winning game one as White. And well played to Manatee in that game. Playing as Black did a great job, but ultimately didn't work out for you. Hopefully game two can work out in your favor. But... We are done for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the 
description below for all things TAC, especially the TAC Discord server, which is where you can find all sorts of resources like strategy guides and people to play with, whether that be online through playtac.com or asynchronously in the Discord server itself. We also have a map of players so you can find people to play with near you. But anyway, that is all again. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a great day and happy tacking.